back to Expo's videos in today's video we'll be exploring one of the most versatile tools in ethical hackers arsenal which is beef xxx short for browser exploitation framework beef is a powerful tool demonstrating vulnerabilities in web browsers and testing web application securities so i'll be showing you the safest way to download it and have it uh so i already pre-installed it you can find it on kali linux tools which i'll show you where it is actually beef Yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you. So, beef, right? It's already on here. I already installed it. To, to install it, what you're going to have to do is sudo ab, sudo apt update. Right, press enter to update your system. Always make sure when you use your Kali Linux VM machine is up to date. Then next we're going to do is sudo apt install beef right and then press enter it's fully installed now we're going to do sudo beef and then enter right so we need a password which you log into your Kali Linux VM right and it should open right after the beef opens you might prompt after you install it to make a new password just make one just remember it defaults are beef what uses this whilst we're in beef right to get started you can make a advanced version of if you want to use a website very specific for your specific things it tells you what is good to use, what's not good to use, what will get you spotted in the trouble, obviously. But what we're going to do is use the demo version. Actually, no, let's use the advanced version, right? So this is the advanced version, right? Thinking, oh, nothing really happened, right? But if you go to here, we have a VM's IP address, which is the default for the Kali Linux. What you can do on it, you can press on it. Let's go to logs. Get started. Hook the main. There we go. Logs. Come on, go to your current browser. What you can do. Let's see. You have so many different commands you can use. Let's pick a basic one and let's type here. Welcome to exploits. Right, let's just do that. Then let's press execute, and nothing happened. But if you go to the advanced one, look what happened. Welcome to exploits. Downfall is it will show your IP address if you're using a Kali Linux VM. But if you want to send it to someone, do it ethically, please. Don't be stupid and cause a lot of mayhem. Let me show you how it's done. So I'm gonna blur things out but you still understand what i mean right so whilst we are on here we're going to do ip find your ip adder type that in and it'll expose your ip address right we're going to take that we're going to copy it copy selected go back to your browser go back to your url and then just swap it with your ip address if it allows me there we go paste then we do that and it relaunches so now what we can do copy the HTML actually I'll show you another trick if you go in here and do short URL right and let's say because obviously when you're going to send this to someone they're going to be very suspicious what you can do is copy it Go to your shortener, accept all, place it here, paste, and then give it a second. And here you go, URL which looks less suspicious than obviously this long one. So what you're gonna do is copy it. Then let's let's go to my emails, send it to myself. So right, subject, let's say beef test because I already did the first one but I just didn't the mic didn't record <laughs> right so we're gonna paste it 
and then we are just gonna send it to ourselves so if we go to our panel now right shows my other IP we can close that because we don't need it right let's now go to my iPhone and I'll show you the screen recording what you will see right make sure that your VPN is off because if you have VPN it is not going to work so once we have this right and then we close them I don't want to see that thank you very much and then we're going to press this short URL open Safari it's going to show you IP address and you're thinking oh what's this right someone sent me a stupid link right and you're looking doing stuff on it and now what I can do as you can see bam my my iPhone's IP address is here what can I do now well a lot of things like for example we can do what we did earlier which is dialogue right and let's say you've been hacked you hacked boom execute and look three two one boom you've been hacked and it literally you have access to anything now you can literally use anything of this you can do use rick and roll as you can see there's so much stuff which you can do the green stuff you can do more let's say detect last pass all right boom what will it happen nothing because I do not have last pass uh, toolbar execute nothing cookie files play a sound will that work Nope. By the way, as you can see, you can do a lot of things with it. Right, all here. You can even do social engineering, right? Text to voice, click jacking, uh, fake flash update, right? You can do a lot of things. Uh, write scripts. So, hopefully, this video gives you like a give or take example of how to use beef and how to make a euro shorter um so yeah beef is a pretty powerful tool if it's in the wrong hands you can do a, a lot of things which is quite scary but hopefully this was educational for you guys how to download it how to use the basics of it so if you want to see a part two of i don't know using that as a social engineering experiment or other extensions which aren't here Leave a like, subscribe to my page. I'm going to try to make more and more videos about Kali Linux and hacking ethically, obviously, because let's be smart about this. Let's not be stupid, because if you do not have off 